I'm pretty sure everybody here has seen this standardized testing meme before. We all love it because it perfectly sums up how our education system approaches standardized testing. As educators, we understand that all students learn differently, but the powers that be understand that too because they always tell us to differentiate. So they're telling us we need to differentiate based on students' needs, and then when it comes to testing, they give every student the same test. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you, when aliens finally come to this planet or reveal themselves, whichever comes first, they're gonna come across this stuff and they're gonna look at us and say, y'all have got to be the dumbest species in the universe because it just doesn't make any sense. As educators, we're gonna look at the aliens and say, look, we've been trying to tell them this, but the powers that be just weren't listening. But as educators, before we take that stand, we gotta clean up our own house and make sure we're not being hypocrites. We need to explain why we see this fight the same as this fight. Why do we see a fight in elementary the same as we see a fight in high school? If we truly believe that everything shouldn't be standardized, then why do we have policies, but more importantly, why do we have beliefs that a fight in elementary is just as bad as a fight in high school. The reason I put the caveat of beliefs is because a lot of districts are moving the policies that are asking administrators to look at these things differently, but most of the pushback is coming from the teachers. As an elementary administrator, I had plenty of teachers mad at me because I wasn't a proponent of suspending elementary age students for fighting. Don't get me wrong, I gave in and did it from time to time, but I wasn't a proponent of it. It wasn't my first go-to. I didn't have a zero tolerance policy of if you do this, you get kicked out of school. To me, it didn't make sense because this is the developmental age. We have to acknowledge that they need to be taught how to express their anger. There's plenty of adults that need to still be taught how to express their anger, but we hold kids up to this much higher standard. Right now, whether a fight happens in kindergarten or 12th grade, a lot of people see a fight as being Armageddon. It is the worst thing that can possibly happen in a school. And at the secondary level, I wouldn't disagree. You can't have adolescent kids fighting at will, even though they're kind of already doing that. But you can't have policy in place that allows that. With that said, we gotta be a little more logical when it comes to our students that are in elementary. It's not acceptable, but it's not Armageddon. We need to shift from seeing it as Armageddon to seeing it as an opportunity. We don't want them to fight, but when they do fight, we need to see it as an opportunity to teach them the appropriate way to handle their anger. Because if we don't teach them in elementary how to deal with their anger, when they get to middle school and high school, they're gonna continue to express their anger in a more violent way.